Good morning. It is 7 a.m. I'm meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. We're under that tornado watch through noon. It will be ex or it will be canceled before then because the squall line is progressing quickly to the east right now. If you take a look at the radar right now, we had several severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. That is no longer in effect for West Feliciana. No current active warnings uh, around our area. As it crosses the Mississippi River, it, it actually had quite a bit of wind energy, but keep in mind the radar beam is coming out of Slidell, so that is why it, the, the velocity looked a little bit extreme. Now it is just plain rain, sub-severe winds, but still likely seeing some strong winds over St. Francisville right now and heading a little closer into East Feliciana. Again, currently there are no warnings in effect, although the squall line is producing a good amount of lightning as of right now. And it, it's still to our west in the capital city, and we can actually see it on the live tower cam. We keep seeing lightning flashes. Uh, it's quite gray out there, not seeing anything in the way of heavy rainfall here locally, but check out that wind south at 24 miles per hour. And in fact, it's windy out there and this has nothing to do with the, the thunderstorms just yet. Baton Rouge, the Baton Rouge airport is recording a wind gust of 41 miles per hour. That is tropical storm force, and we've had even higher wind gusts earlier. Uh, Gonzales around 48 miles per hour just about two hours ago. And again, this is all ahead of a squall line that is going to move through the area uh, pretty quickly. Let me show you the tornado watch. It's going to drop from west to east as the squall line progresses eastward. Lafayette's still under the tornado watch, but this is in effect through noon. And this includes all of southeast Louisiana all the way to the Mississippi Gulf Coast along I-59. And again, this includes our entire area. I'll clear this out. So again, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, if you plan on driving down to New Orleans for any of the national championship, celebrations this weekend, I would hold off at least until the afternoon. Conditions are going to be much nicer once that happens, uh, once it clears out and this uh, cold front pushes on through. We're still under that enhanced risk. I would say it's out of here by lunchtime as of right now. If it keeps taking that forward progression that it currently is taking and it, it, it looks to be moving to the northeast around 50 miles per hour or so. And again, not seeing anything in the way of severe weather as of right now, but if that changes, we have our crawl going across the screen. And not just that, we also will cut into programming if needed. You can find the latest on brproud.com. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the free BR Proud app. You will get alerts sent to your phone. As soon as the tornado watch was issued, I got the alert. Uh, on my phone as well, and you can find interactive radar on our website. We'll check out our Facebook page, our Twitter as well, and we'll keep you posted on this. But again, Doppler radar showing the squall line is just to the west of Baton Rouge. As we speak, currently there are no warnings in effect. We had a, a, a severe thunderstorm warning for Point Coupe and West Feliciana not too long ago, but the National Weather Service allowed that to expire at 7 a.m. And you can kind of see some little kinks in the squall line here and there and a few thunderstorms wanting to develop out ahead of it. But we're not currently seeing anything that is too worrisome right now. And we have the whole weather team here right now in-house and we're watching this very carefully. In fact, Jesse was just pointing out that you can see the, the little bow right here if you check it out. I'll clear this so you know where I'm talking about. Just west of downtown Baton Rouge, just west of the river, you can kind of see the squall line starting to bow out. So some strong winds are likely. I'll show you right and right there, right around Rosedale. Just a little bit in the way of some strong winds, gate to gate here, eight uh, meters per second. So not seeing much in the way of strong, strong winds, but keep in mind this is also a radar beam heading a little higher, pointed higher into the atmosphere. 
So in the meantime, what you can do to prepare, because this squall line, this system has been notorious for some wind damage all across the deep south. Several tornado reports in Missouri and, uh, and even into Oklahoma overnight, but this is the last 24 hours. They, we've seen hail reports and, and, and again, wind gust reports, but the majority has been thunderstorm wind damage. And that could be straight line wind, that could also be uh, tornado as well the National Weather Service will have to to uh, kind of analyze the damage to be able to call that but either way straight line winds are just as dangerous as a weak tornado they can cause more damage than a weak tornado so that is why you want to take every warning that is issued very seriously if there's a severe thunderstorm warning issued for your area you need to take it seriously because this the system is packing a punch lots of wind energy so what you can do is just put as many walls between you and the outside as possible avoid windows and glass and and we'll be here every step of the way so it should clear out by mid-morning hours 10 11 o'clock and then this afternoon is actually looking quite nice with highs in the 60s if there are any other watches warnings or alerts we will cut back in and you can check us out on brproud.com